Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In this video, I will show you how to get music visualizer on your desktop from Jax Originals, which is the creator of the skin using Rain Meter. But before that, make sure that you are actually subscribed to the channel and also like this video for the YouTube algorithm. It would be much appreciated. So, as I told you earlier, this is the rain meter skin, so make sure that you have the rain meter installed and then you want to have the Jax Core rain meter skin, which is basically a hub for this guy's uh, skin. So, make sure that you get this file from his webpage. I will also link all these required downloads in the video description down below, so make sure to check them out. Once you got the Jax Core um, skin installed for the rain meter here you will see that you have some options for example here we have modules which you can try by yourself but today we will go through the module visualizer which is his latest release of the modules or the skin for the rain meter so let me show you so if i click on the module visualizer here you will see that this is the intro page or welcome page of the module visualizer and if i go to the general right here you can see that you have some options so here we have visualizer behavior you can select it to the bar circle or to the vector and here you should probably see that it's changing right here in the background so this is the vector one this is the circle it should update as you can see here is the circle and then we have the bar so this is this is pretty much the bar but let me show you if i play one song for example here i just picked one from the ncs releases so if i click play i hope it isn't too loud so here you should see that it's actually playing. So here me, let me show you once again, the bar, the circle, it's looking something like that. And then we have the vector right here. So this is the vector one. I think this one looks the best in my opinion. And here downwards, you have the visualizer dimension. So basically these are some of the uh, options to actually change the shape or the width or the height of this uh, visualizer then you have the third tab called appearance and here we have the option to have the image underlay so basically it will apply the image that you selected on the um, visualizer and then it will actually mask it with the the image that you actually select right here here you have the visualizer filling for example you can pick whichever color you would like so let's say we have something like here the blue one it should look something like that right now as you can see the this layer is the top one so this is the blue one and then you have the three layers once again so for example i'll pick this one and let's say this one and then we have the late last one maybe something like that and here here we have as you can see four bars and each are different color then you have also the gradient option however here you also have an option to have an image underlay so this will basically mask the the image that you selected with the actual visualizer right so if i select right here with my wallpaper current wallpaper as you can see it's masked with the wallpaper right now then we also have the layout options. So here are some of the basic styles or the presets for the styles for this visualizer. So the first one looks something like that. As you can see, it looks something like that. And then you also have, you can change the, the colors and you also have an option to have an image underlay option. Um, so this is the first one. Then we have the second one with this, some of the, this um, lines right here. As you can see, it looks something like that. Then you have the third option, it looks something like that. Uh, the fourth one, this is the basic circle visualizer. Then you have the fifth one, it looks something like that with the appearance and everything. You also have uh, all these styles have an image underlay option. Then you have this one and then you have this one, a line. As you can see, it also reacts to the music. And then you have this one, which I think it's my personal favorite. So for example, let me show you how to actually make a really nice style out of this um, skin. So for example, here I go to the appearance and here I will select the actual my wallpaper. For example, this is this one. 
and then you will go to the general and here you will select a few of the options for example here we have an option to select the number of vector layers max is the four fourth so i will select the four which is the the four four waves will be shown right here on the visualizer so here i will select the four then you also have number of vector bands or the points you can select this one as well let's say from 20 i'll select the 50 then you have the preferred one so the width of the vector it should be your display resolution right here minimum height of the vector let's say we want even bigger let's say something like 10 uh, it should look even bigger and then you have height of the bottom layer which is the bottom one so let's say 500 let's say 500 uh 500 right here it should look a little bit bigger right now so something like that uh, and then you have the some other options as well so here we have an audio for example you have select a type of device for the audio so here you will select the option to actually react to so here we have the output so the, basically the speakers that are actually outputting the volume or the actual song right and then you have the input which will you can select to the input as well so if something let's say if you are talking to the microphone and then the input will and this program will actually react to the input of the microphone and then you also have the device which you can select let's say you have the speakers or something like that so i think the output is the first option that you will you guys will probably use then you also have the th 3d overlay option in this um, skin uh, skin for the rain meter so i don't think if this if this is actually working however you have the layering skin activation status so you can enable this one and as you can see nothing actually works right here so i need to actually disable this feature so as you can see it works right now uh, if you don't like this skin anymore you will deactivate it right here and you will remove it just simply by going to the jack score so jack score is the hub that you can actually install his uh, skins and then you have the module visualizer which is skin from the jack score so here how to uninstall it open the folder you will click right here and then you have the module visualizer right here from in the rain meter skins folder and then you will simply delete this folder and the skin should be uninstalled so you will first end the program right here the rain meter as well so exit the rain meter and then you will uninstall the skin itself as you can see skin is uh, no longer here and with that said i hope you enjoyed this quick video about the music visualizer brand new music visualizer for the rain meter if you did subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated actually and i see you guys in the next video peace